Hello everyone, welcome back to multi-channel YouTube services and entertainments. This video will be a um, quick fix about uh, multimeter. If uh, it's on, working, everything, but it's not reading. So for example, um, I have this uh, multimeter, which is a uh, micro, micronta, and uh, this is the back model number, micronta, and this is the model number 22-174B. And uh, so um, I was working on it one day and suddenly just uh, um, stopped reading anymore. So you can see the screen is on. I'll put it on uh, uh, DC. This is a DC and I have just battery here. And uh, when I put here, it's, you can see nothing is reading. So the screen, everything is the same. I check this one with the just regular uh, another multimeter and this one uh, it's reading correctly so one one volt point two eight. So uh, how to fix this problem? It's quite very simple actually. Um, there is like um, several reason for this, but first uh, you see it's nothing. So all of them, all those uh, connection, they don't work. Um, basically nothing, even though like uh, if you usually, when you go to home and then do this, uh, it will start beeping. But uh, uh, as you can see, it's nothing showing here. And uh, so let's uh, try the like, troubleshoot uh, before I tell you what's uh, wrong, but uh, you can do what first you need to do is check the wires, both of them. And uh, if, you, if you have a different wires, you can just remove them both and you know install another ones and check them. Uh, this could be the easiest way to find out if your wire is working correctly or not. And uh, so if you have any spare two different wires, check them first to make sure those wires are working. And uh, second is troubleshooting this. I check the wires though, both of them, and they are working correctly. And how to check the wires actually, very simple. If you have um, a different multimeter, you can do that simply by, like this is the simple one, another multimeter. All I need to do is to make sure they are working, I can just replace them here. So, replace them here and uh, to check. Uh, now let's check again. So the wires are working cor good. No issues with the wire. Both of them uh, working okay. And um, or you can just replace them with different ones. But the wires are okay. So now the problem is with this. Um, usually sometimes um, second thing you need to do is check the dial so the dial can get it has like a, a lot of uh, different type of connections those connections they can get um, what's called like dust dirt or anything preventing the dial from having good connection and uh, this however takes time to do because you need to disassemble everything open the cover back and everything and until you reach this dial and then you need to check the connection inside the dial to make sure the connection is correct and no um, like um, corrosion or dust or anything preventing from good connection from the dial and uh, so that's the second you need to check third and you need to check the fuse um, some each multimeter is different though like uh, different uh, manufacturer different type different model names and everything uh, this particular one has two different type of um, a fuse. This is the main one is main fuse. The other one, it's for like for example, if you uh, connect multimeter to the very high voltage or different ampere or so on, it might blow up one of those fuse. And the best way to check um, simply by uh, remove one of those, like you remove them. So yeah, this is easy to, uh, this little 
the silk or some, uh, you know, it's easy handle to remove the, the fuse. So um, you can see um, by just look at it, look at the fuse and you can see if it's working or not. Usually when it's uh, the fuse kind of blown up, uh, you can see it's as a cut or dark on this glass, you can see. And uh, those are very tricky actually. Sometimes you can't see. All you need to do, if you have another multimeter, you need to uh, check check the fuse, uh, like by just, uh, um, so to check this, go to uh, this connection here. And then, and then simply by, so you can see, nothing happened when I, when I, that means uh, this fuse is not, is not good. And uh, so you can see nothing is happening after when I try to uh, check the fuse if it's working or not. So that means this fuse, I cannot see it though, if it's been blown up or, though, or not. Oh, you can see now. See, it's very, very hard to see actually. So this fuse is not good. Um, you know, it's hard to see, but uh, because the camera, when I'm looking to the camera now, it has a good, uh, um, like kind of making it a little bit bigger. So I can see um, the small, tiny, um, if you can see it now, here we go. It's just so hard to see actually. Let's check it again. Yeah, can you, if you can see that. So if with maybe just the naked eye, it's so, so hard to see. And this, how to fix if the multimeter is on working, everything, but is not um, um, reading. The second fuse, I have this one also, this, this fuse is different though. It's a ceramic fuse. So this one, it's really hard to tell if it's been you can't even see, but the thing is you can check, use the multimeter again and uh, check it if it's working or not. And uh, let's see. See, this fuse is working. So, you see that? So, yeah, this fuse is good. I'll just put this one back on. So, but this one though is not good. I was gonna buy actually, um, I think this one it's, uh, it says here, you see that? This is 0 0.5 ampere. And 250 two, uh, volts. So um, what I'm gonna do, I'm, uh, because I don't have this uh, uh, type of uh, fuse, uh, I'll just use um, like uh, this is, uh, a wire for a charger just uh, you know and you can see those are very tiny small wires here if you can see I'll just use one of them and uh, it work but it's not safe though it's the best way to get the same uh, volt uh, same size same uh, um, fuse it's better and safer for the uh, multimeter this, however, is a trick just to make uh, sure it's been used until uh, you buy uh, the right fuse and replace it. So the best way to do is this one, this way. Okay, just like that. You can see now. And install it back. I forgot to put uh, the polar the yeah, so yeah it's not safe though this uh, way to, to fix the fuse you need to buy the right fuse though and install it but uh, for me I don't have that one yet just for now 
uh, just to show you guys what's the simple way to fix this. Now, um, let's try see if this uh, will work or not. Hopefully, this trick will solve the problem for now. You can see now it's reading. So this is how you fix if the multimeter uh, is on but it's not reading. However, there are uh, could be like um, kind of a more complicated uh, problem, which is the inside the motherboard, one of the transistor uh, or resistor is not working and you need to replace that. But this video particularly simple, easy fix for this type of model, which is one of the fuse uh, was, was kind of blowing and uh, uh, so yeah, by look at the fuse sometimes it's so hard to see if it's been you need kind of to have a magnet magnified glass or look to, through the camera through your cell phone trying to uh, Make it magnified to see get a close-up to see if it's been blown up or not some fuses though like this one the ceramic fuse is uh, It's hard to see and you need to check by multimeter Sometimes though it kind of blowing when it's blowing some fuses will get dark from at least one side you'll see dark uh, spot and that means the fuse is not good any anymore you need to replace it this trick though i don't recommend though you need to buy the right uh the right fuse to replace it but uh, for now i'm just doing this trick to use this until i buy the uh, spare fuse and replace that one so thank you so much so much for watching uh, please don't forget to uh, like share subscribe check out other videos in our multi-channel we upload videos regularly randomly all the best and hope to see you next video